Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Seven Days Valencia. It's me, JD Sensei. How are we doing? Uh, there was an airdrop. It's over there. And then a smack dab in the middle of the wasteland. So that's another one. <laughs> that's another one gone. I'm good. Nah, you can keep that one. I'm good with that. All right, the, real quick, what I wanted to do is put these out. So I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, I can't put these up yet. And I'm like, oh, wait, no, I can. All right, for right now, pop that out. Let me just bash that out of there. Bash that out. Just back them off a little bit. Don't worry, this is all going to be grass at some point. Pick up that rock. Just clean up a little bit. There we go. All right, real quick, we're going to take this. I know we usually do landscaping in the morning, but I just want to get this done now so I don't forget it later. Get anything in you? Yeah, good, go away. All right, there we go. All right, that, that worked out the way I wanted it to. I just wanted to get this part done, just so I don't forget to do it later. Okay. Because once we go inside, it's mostly digging anyway, so. Oop, missed one. This is going to look really good when it's all grassed up. All right, so what I wanted to do here is just quickly... These are going to be on the inside blocks. So I don't have to worry about them falling. Okay, that one's going to be a little touchy. There we go. This is kind of what I wanted. We'll do the same thing on the other edge at a later date. And I wouldn't worry about that little hole. Like I said, that's all going to get replaced with forest dirt at some point. All right, and we'll leave this for a later date as well, because I do have to hollow that out before I start doofing with that stuff. So take a look. Uh, actually, one thing I want to do is seal that up. And this is fine. Okay. All right, looks pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. We like it. We like it a lot. This is not what we came here to do. This is the morning. This is the afternoon shift. Afternoon shift is construction. I cannot work on the awning because my cotton is slow. But we'll get that when we go home tonight. We should be able to pick it because it's right on the cusp of being done. All right, let's drop this off. Drop the coffee beans off, drop that off. I shouldn't, oh, I might actually need this. I might actually pull a bunch of this, throw the peach be uh, blocks out. Let's go ahead and grab half of this one just to top it off. Wood looks good, okay. But we're really gonna be working on the bottom floor and we are not going to be using that, okay, for stairs. What I would really like is white marble would look really good. All right, so let's take a look here. Just making sure I don't need anything amazing. Yeah, I'm keeping this for uh, <clears throat> creative purposes. Might actually go get more out of my mini bike too, but I think I got everything I need, which is right now is mainly going to be the shovel. Pay attention, JD. You still own this. I gotta leave this open because I gotta take the long way around. Uh, I just wanted to get grab some Thanthamum. Yeah, see, I have tons of this crap, so I think I'm good on chrysanthemum for a good bit for a while. That's why I switched back to just one uh, one patch. 
if it gets too low, I'll replace it. But I will need redwood for the flooring upstairs. But I do have some other options. I should grab that on the way just so I can test them. I just thought of that. Okay. See, I always think of stuff as I'm walking away saying, hey, this other cool stuff I could do. So let's grab... Actually, what do I need for this again? Clay, right? Yeah, let me take some clay. Stone is fine. Okay. So, let's take a look at this. So, what's a peach bleak? Peach block cost? Let's actually do a white adobe block. Look at this. And it's six, so... No, I don't want to do 38. I want to do about 30. Okay, so it's stone that's holding me back, but that's fine. All right. So what I'm thinking of doing, uh, in case you're wondering, is the flooring upstairs, instead of using wood this time, I'm thinking going peach, then white, then peach. Actually, I might just go white. I just want to see how good it looks compared to the concrete. It's good to experiment. All right, get out of the way, please. Let me go. This is a long trip, damn it. This place needs furniture. Uh, that's really end game. Okay, it takes longer to get here than it does. I mean, it's easy getting out. And I could just be a dork and throw down a frame. The problem with me is I'll forget the frame. And I'll end up with Zombinos using the frame to jump over and get into me. Uh, get in at me. All right, so let's start out with an experiment real quick. And let's pick this area right here. I might not actually have enough. Okay, let's go ahead and toss these. I want... Oh, yeah, that actually is going to look good. Yeah, I think that looks good. Kind of a nice white office floor upstairs. Nice little marble office. You know, because at this stage, it's literally all about making it stylish. Ah, uh, i going to say I like it, actually. Now, do I alternate? That's the real question. Do I want to alternate? I gotta get these high-end guys out of here. Do I alternate between this and peach blocks? I'm on the fence on that one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep this. And I need peach blocks for other stuff right now, but I wanna prep this out. Don't worry, we gotta get in on the flooring too. We're going to get this started. Okay. Should have upgraded this so I knew better. There we go. And that, my friends, is why you do that. Also, we're going to... Just so it looks uniform. Okay, then we'll take a look at that upstairs. i got to remember i got to build stairs. Do have to remember that. Okay, we're going to take off the next layer. You don't want to go too... don't want to get ahead of the game here and start... This is valuable resources. This is double work, but I do need to make a stairway too, so that's a little bit of something. But before I can do that, I have to get the flooring in. And probably get these last bits of support up. And then we got to shovel out the uh, lower area. Yeah, I knew one of them would hit low like that. I really like doing that. So we get all this crap out of here. And then we have one more layer. Yeah, we got one more little layer and then we can start working on the high stuff. Get the bottom out. 
Let me turn that on for you guys. A little bit easier to see. Just kind of go in a circle here and clear it out. Every little bit helps. I'm still on the fence on flooring for this place. Although I do like how redwood looks, but now that I use plating, you know, I, I've seen the plates that I can make. Maybe I can plate it up a little bit different. I could checkerboard it again, too. That is an option. That worked very well outside. I wish I had more color options. Or even carpeting would be nice. You know, other than red. Red sucks. There's no blues in this game. Not a, not a lot. In this version. This is first. We're not talking about 1.0. 1.0 is a whole different beast. A lot of you guys have been telling me I'm going to go crazy when uh, I get my hands on that. And I'm not going to lie. It's going to take a little while because i got to get used to the new gameplay, the new loop and everything. But once I go to ham... You guys know me and my crazy ideas. They're going to get crazy. They're going to start out small. Because I always start out small. I'll probably do what I did. Uh, I'll start off with a very simple concept. Or I might just start out like I did with this. And start with an existing POI and make it my own. And then we'll work from there. All right. I can't be bothered to waste that. All right. So first things first, let's... Okay, so... Let me just delineate where the... So I know where the support structure should be. Okay, that makes it a lot easier. Okay, so we need a support here, so let's get this done. Okay, and we totally need one here, so let's get this reinforced. And let's get this replaced. The pickaxe out for now. Let's go ahead and get this replaced, get in this framing. There we go. All right. Okay, so... I guess I could take the snipey out. I don't really need that right now. I didn't bring bars with me because I have no illusions that I'll be working on the second floor today. <laughs> Definitely don't think that's a thing. All right. Got that down. All right, so I guess we'll start in the corner. And yeah, that's, uh, I'm just gonna take this now. I didn't think it'd get me a lot. Okay. For right now, I'm gonna pick these up. Uh, I think we'll start here and just start working into the corner so we can get our supports up at some point. We'll get those up. Should give me the stone I need, too, to uh, make a more creative setup. That's okay if we hit a little over. I don't really care about that. Right now, the main goal is just to spread out enough. Okay, I'm going to... going to start getting where the supports need to be so I can put the supports in at some point. Somehow that ended up off. I don't know how. But it did. Alright. Well, it needs to be this way. At least if I run out of time, I can at least get the supports in that need to be replaced. And 
don't you worry. Like I said, uh, we might go uh, checkerboard pattern. But right now, I want to really just get this emptied. The more I do now, the less I got to do later. And we can get more creative as we go. But this is always the most exciting part. Getting all the crap out of here. Although, like I said, it does have the added benefit of giving me sand, which I'm still pretty good on, but stone, which I'm always in need of for bricks and various things like that. did want to get as much of this done as possible today, so I never have to do it again. And I can stew about thinking about the flooring I want to do. Still thinking of it. I'm going to play with plates. I definitely think that's a thing. So what I might do, since I'm going to probably use plating, I think we're just going to throw a wood floor down here. You know. Because why waste concrete when I don't have to? All right, let's go to right here. Let's get 300 frames. And this can be built while I'm doing this. All right, that can be built when I'm doing while I'm doing this. I suppose I do need this here just to put in the or something I need at some point. And we'll do a single upgrade on the wood because again, the wood is just there to provide a... Uh, the wood is just there to provide a... Uh, something for the plate to sit on. So you know, It doesn't have to look good. It just has to be there. The other thing I have to remember, too, is if I use plating, I have to decide where the stairs go beforehand, because the, the, uh, sounds like I finally got my group. Okay, let me get the machine gun. Uh, let me go handle this. Okay, I'm going to lead him away from that. All right. Yeah, 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 we got a little ga gaggle here. Hello, folks. Yeah, I got a few of them. All right. Okay, everybody uh, get off that crap, please. Tweaky, you're first to go. Ma'am, you're next. You going to stop? Thank you. Got him. Okay, here we go. Should have a crawler or two. Yeah, you got the fat boys moving in. All right. Uh, we'll get them in a moment. Boy, if you line that up, right, you get a headshot in it. All right, I'm going to get these guys and ignore the ones behind me so they use that time to try and get to me. They're not so far. that congregated, congregated in that corner. All right. I can do a little bit of looting. Yeah. And then the leather. I don't really have a need for leather at the moment, but there's got to be a crawler somewhere around here. It usually is. All right, one of y'all was a nurse, so I am interested in that. Don't worry, guys. I'll be over there in a bit. Got to get these guys before they uh, fall. No crawlers? I'd appreciate it if you stopped beating on that wall over there. There's still one over there. Can't be bothered. Man, no arms for you. Tweaky! Tweak arms. Straight line, please. He's not dead.
Damage. Thank you. They kind of went right for that uh, corner right there, too. I'm assuming there's no landmines over here. Oh, this is why. Okay. I see the issue. If I remember right, if they see stairs, they consider that an entrance, so they go towards it. So we're going to take care of this problem right now. Don't think I'll have to worry about too much. All right. Usually they send in a crawler, so I'm surprised they haven't. Oh, cobblestone rocks, really? Yeah, give me, uh, shoot. I should be able to make, yeah, give me like, okay. Here we go. So they are going to keep coming back to this little area right here. Yep. Well, I didn't want to do that. Okay. All right. Just figured I'd do that up a bit. All right. Go ahead and scrap that back down. I don't need it a few. All right. Well, thank you guys for the uh, little minimal action. Yeah, they did spawn a board. I wonder where it came from, to be 100% honest. They must have been trucking it for a while. I'm going to scrap that back down. And I'm just looking. Might as well eat. You know, they brought me food, so why the hell not, right? Just eat all this crap. I mean, if they're nice enough to bring it to me. You know, I'm going to take a little bit of this. There you go. And might as well top off the water. There we go. Thank you, guys. They brought me lunch and ammo. Got to love it. That was nice of them. All right. appreciate it if they don't bug me. What I didn't want them to do is come and beat on this. I'm fine with them beating on that crap. That that's okay. That is a okay. You want to beat on that crap? Go for it. JD does not give a crap. That is completely fine. But I didn't think of that, and I do remember it was a thing. I remember from back in the day. It's definitely more prevalent now with 1.0 because that's the way zombies, I believe, were always intended to work. They're always supposed to, supposed to, uh, aim for, it's like, early days. All right, let me wax poetic here because I want to get a drink and stuff. All right, give me a second. I just want to get this someplace, and then I want to... Do a couple of things real quick, so I'm going to wax poetic on that. So, old school game, if you guys remember, I'm talking like Alpha 7. And you see it in a lot of my builds, where I will take out the doors. And the windows. For an early horde base. And the reason being is and they've all as far as i know they've always been designed this way it's just the ai was terrible uh up until i believe now uh, it's not the ai the ai is fine it's the pathing path that was bad but they're always going to make a beeline for uh the easiest entrance so if you left a door up they would always congregate at the door you know so that was the thing that they uh, that they originally planned in. I don't think they got that pathing down pat until I don't want I don't want to say like maybe Alpha 17 
Whenever they moved away from the... Whenever they did the major zombie upgrade... I don't remember when that was. Were they UME? Is that what they were called? I think when they moved to that, they redid the pathing. Which is big time... A lot of the issue with console. Is... You know... And it, it, it's always exploitable. You gotta remember that. It's always exploitable. It's always going to be explore, exploitable. As soon as you figure out how the zombies work, you know, how they spawn, how they operate, on, uh, you know, and in console right now, uh, five days. On the seventh day, you get a horde night. On the uh, fifth day, you they spawn in a dog horde, which is normal. They'd just be a dog horde somewhere on the map. That will try and get to you, which is why you see them occasionally. So if you're doing, you only usually only really see them when you're doing like a heavy build and you're not really going too far. But you do see them. All right. I guess we can get this portion done. Ideally, like I said, I'd like to have a lot of this cleared out because it's less crap I have to put you through in the next episode. And I can't really do this at night in the hub city because I do not have defenses here and it takes me away from where I'm building, uh, where I'm creating resources. So, kind of a lose-lose on that front. So, I'm more inclined to... Uh, I built the frames now, so I have them, but... I'm more of a mind to just get as much of this done as possible. And we could take time to talk about stuff like that. But yeah, zombies are always going to make their way to an open doorway. Uh, and what gives it away is things like stairs, which is one of the reasons, like, if I use the farmhouse or whatever... Or uh, early, I'll take out the porch. I'll seal up the windows. I'll seal up the doors and give myself another entrance in. Because it just makes it easier to control where the zombies are going to go. Now, with the bad pathfinding they have uh, in current console, um, all you can really do is hope. So there's no reason to leave a doorway unless you're personally going to use it. For the most part, they're just going to be idiots and just walk straight until they hit something and turn and they have a very, as you can see, they have a very big tendency to get hung up on crap. So, yeah, that's the thing. Should probably... You're playing on console. I, I do apologize uh, on behalf of the fun pimps. I don't work for them, but I do apologize to all my folks that are still holding out, not having a, a series, Xbox Series or PlayStation 5. Uh, if you're playing on PS4, guys, you're SOL. They are not doing this for the uh, previous gen, and there's no plans to do so. So. Now, I, expect, I would assume Smart Bunny would be to delist, uh, which I think they've already done, to delist the uh, old console version completely, not have it on PlayStation 4 either. Just saying it would confuse the hell out of people. And I'm pretty sure they, that they made that assumption as well, because I don't remember seeing it. Uh, cause yeah, and I believe they actually don't get, or I don't know how the rights work, but, um, their, uh, Telltale still uses, uh, still has their, still owns, I don't know if they own the rights, but it's still in the marketing, so, I assume that's a thing. Not 100% sure on that. I know it's still, uh, when you boot up the game, it still says Telltale on it, so maybe that's the thing. 
not gonna sit here and pretend I know how licensing and stuff works. But yeah, for those of you guys on last gen, sorry guys, you're out of luck. At this point, it might be time to consider an upgrade to your choice of console. If you're on console and you want to stay on console, just saying. Uh, like later today, I'm probably going to be doing uh, Zenless Zone Zero or ZZZ. That's PlayStation 5 and PC and mobile only. A lot of companies are starting to just go PS5 or Xbox uh, X. At least with Xbox. Well, I mean, the one is kind of abandoned, but I get that. I was going to say, at least with the Xbox, you got the, the One S. But even then, that kind of is hampering them a bit. And that's more on Microsoft's, Microsoft's own damn fault for forcing all their games to work on the Series S, which is underpowered compared to the X. Which, I mean... I can understand it from both sides. They wanted to get that lower end model out to give people a cheaper option, but mandating that there's no game that's specifically made for the X kind of undercut stuff and makes your game always, for the most part, always look worse unless it's first party. Um, that kind of hampers them. Um, was the XS a mistake? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. For me, for the market trends I'm looking at and the way they're all doing their stuff nowadays, they're all doing their planning and stuff, I am under the impression Microsoft might not want to make another console. It's just me spitting out, you know, conspiracy. Put your tinfoil hat on. I don't know. I think Microsoft just wanted to get their name out there, to be 100% honest, to get their name out there, to have some first-party studios. But they're clearly... At least they're starting to, like, they're starting to put stuff on Sony. Now, bear in mind, Sony is also uh, working on the PC market as well. So, I get the feeling uh, at some point we might just be uh, Sony and Nintendo. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. They could, they could be on the fact. I just don't see it as viable for uh, much longer. Okay, that needs to go there. This is just me spitting uh, spit conspiracy thing. But I, Sony doesn't really have a... Uh, they actually make a lot of money on their insurance, so they have that to fall back on. Microsoft makes all their money on Azure, their servers, for the most part. And I know that they, they, they always speak stuff, but they uh, it seems to be, with the exception of Nintendo, which always does its own damn thing, a lot of the big boys are sitting there going, well, you know what? I don't think this will happen. This, uh, I think maybe. I think maybe there will be a 6th a six, six gen Microsoft console. I, I don't know. I know Sony will do something because they want it, but I think they're all getting very close to PCs. You know, they, they, the architecture is x86, I think. The graphics cards are built by, you know, prominent. There's no, uh, nobody's doing the cell chip or anything like that now because that was a bust. Wasn't well, really a bust. The PlayStation 3 was powerful for its time. The problem was, with the exception of first party, nobody wanted to deal with that crap. And even first party, some of the early stuff was. Ugh. They tried. I mean, and they're always trying something weird like that, like the uh, six axis 
uh, the, you know, the six axis, axis crap. That was weird. I gotta start thinking about moseying. But from a from the a gamers, just somebody who likes playing. Uh, I should close that. For, who just likes you know playing, uh, playing console because uh, couch comfort and stuff. And I know you can set up your PC like that, but you guys already know my PC situation. I had a nice PC, power supply cooked off and killed the motherboard and uh, possibly the processor and I do not have the extra money to freaking replace it so I pulled out an old potato PC so I'm back in potato PC heaven. I had a nice PC for about three months. Oh uh, well. It's the way it's the, them's the breaks, you know. Nothing you can do. Crap happens. Alright, let me just get out the stuff I don't want to take back home and I'm gonna drop this off but yeah so my PC situation isn't likely to change unless this channel all of a sudden blows up I have 10,000 subs and I can get YouTube to start giving me money too <laughs> but before that not an issue uh, not, a, not a thing I can deal with and I'm okay with a pay to PC anyways because uh, like I said I 99% of the time when I'm on PC I'm just reading web boards and crap. I'm not really paying attention to I'm not you know, or I'm watching YouTube. I'm not doing anything super duper creative. I'm going to take half of these just to have them on me. You need to go over there. You guys can all stay here. Uh, combine that. Totally. I meant to combine that. Just so I can see where uh, where I'm at standing, and I think we're actually going to throw that out and let that depop. And I probably want to keep those for art later. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back home, probably kill some zombies, even though we had a little mini horde. So you guys can't sit there and go, "Well, JD didn't do anything." Did yes, I did. I killed the zombie horde, but you know. I need it too. I definitely want it. Every time I look at that trash bag, I swear to God. Every time I see that trash bag, that I think it's a zombie standing there. Um, but yeah. I don't know. We'll see with 6th Gen, uh, which should get announced probably next year at the earliest. I think at the earliest we'll see stuff maybe next year. I think it's too soon right now because the pandemic slowed everything down by about two years, I think, with production and all that crap. So I want to put it uh, 2026, maybe 2027, but the way things are going with the major big guys right now, it seems to me, this is my opinion, but from what I'm seeing, Microsoft throwing out Sunset Overdrive and a few others on uh, it's, um, was it Skull and Bones that blew up on PlayStation. You got to be sitting there if you're an executive going, hey, hey, and you know the Bethesda's are probably going to be the first ones over. You know, Star Starcraft, uh, not Starcraft, uh, Starfield. They probably want to bring that over. They get they can do exclusivity and stuff like that, and Sony's doing the same thing. Where they're, you know, throwing it on PC and they're throwing it on Game Pass. They, they give it like a year exclusivity to keep the consoles relevant. But I can honestly see Sony will probably stay. Nintendo will definitely stay. They're always doing their own damn thing. They're not, uh, but they're collaborating with some stuff too. They're doing crossovers. I got something in my eye. So if I'm drunk driving, it's literally, I think an eyelash went in there. Ah, annoying. Um... I honestly see it. I, I don't really care about the console wars. I have one of everything. Uh, I don't have a Series X. I, I, I just decided to go one. But I have a Switch and I haven't touched it in a year. Um, because I stream on YouTube. I, I do YouTube or stuff, which unfortunately doesn't leave a lot, a lot of time. But I, I do have games. If I ever travel, which I don't. But if I did, I'd take the Switch with me. So it's there if I need it. 
or want it, you know. I have a an Xbox One in storage. I have a it's Sega Genesis in storage. I have a, a you know a PC. I have a PlayStation Four right below the PlayStation Five. Haven't turned it on in a year. Maybe it works. I have a PS3 original backwards compact sitting in storage. So I do a little bit of everything. It's just where I see the market trending. Because you got to remember, guys. Um, us gamers, yeah, some of us are console warriors. Companies don't give an ass about that. They'll pander to it. You know, they'll, you know, keep it civil. But they'll get their little cliques and stuff. That, dude, at the end of the day, if they can pull, if you can pull 1 million sales and then you put it on a rival's machine and you pull another 10 million, that's what they care about. They do not give a rat's ass about anything else. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if Microsoft made a sweet enough deal to Sony, Sony, uh, Sony would keep PlayStation Plus and throw Xbox Game Pass right on the PS5 and vice versa. If they could make a sweet enough deal between them, I guarantee you they would do that. Or they, they could go in completely insane and combine them. Th those two companies only give a crap about money. All companies only give up a crap about money, but they could make it work. And the only reason it doesn't right now is because they pro probably both want a bigger cut than the other one's willing to give up. That's it. That's it. But I don't see the future being acquisitions. Uh, I don't think... Uh, I don't think... The problem with uh, Microsoft IC is they went on that acquisition thing, and Sony's not innocent. They, they're chasing those stupid train trends, too, with the uh, live service gaming. They keep swinging and missing at that one. you got to remember, guys, not every game can be freaking Fortnite. It's not happening. I think in the coming uh, generation, gotchas are going to be big, uh, bigger than they are. I think the first one to do a dedicated console PC, no mobile gotcha, that they know what they're doing and they hit all the right cylinders is going to blow the F up. Like a dedicated gotcha. Like imagine Genshin or something, uh, but literally with Sony or Microsoft backing it and like taking everything that worked and just doing it. a couple of companies have tried, but this has tried with the uh, oh, I should go harvest cotton huh, before I do this. Um, but this has tried with uh, Fallout 76, They're mildly successful. They could they probably should have thought that out better. A lot of these companies have to catch cash shops, but they haven't gone straight gotcha, and it does come down to gambling and stuff being an issue. But I'd love to see somebody go for, like, a high-end, deep gameplay. Like, go gotcha, go crazy. I think the future is, like, we're getting away from uh, dedicated single genre games. Everything's getting a little mixed up. Everything's going to have RPG elements, a cash shop, you know, a, it's either action. Uh, Turn-based, I don't think, is going away. It's always going to have its niche. But I think everybody wants a little, uh, wants to be there. So all the genres are sort of... All the major genres. I don't want to say all the genres. There's always room for stuff. And there'll always be pure representatives of every genre. But I think the big money is going to be... I don't think it's live service. I think... If you can figure out a way to do it, honestly, if you made it a mature and rated M gotcha game for PlayStation, uh, for console and PC, nobody could say crap. The whole reason gotchas got uh, cat loot boxes and gotchas get in trouble is because they keep chasing that damn teen rating. And they really ought to pay attention because. The demographic is higher than 18, so stop aiming for the teen rating. Oh, oh, shit, stop. I totally didn't think that through. Okay, 122. I totally didn't think that through. I was just brain dead on that one. 
122. Uh, I just was being lazy, and I'm like, oh, I'll just do this. Okay. But the demographic has changed. The age demographic, it's like 27 to 30 is the common demographic. You chase it. They're trying to chase the cell phone market, the mobile gaming market, which is younger, which is actually restricting them. Um, but if you want, it, if it was me and if I was pitching an idea, I would go for a rated M. So you could let your wee Bardus go insane. You know, not not go insane, not go straight hentai, but you could really go, you know, push the envelope. And who the hell cares what the freaking crazies think? I never understood that. Why the hell cater to people that were never going to buy a game in the first place? Just saying. You know, it's just like the early years when all the people were freaking about the excessive violence. Oh, my God. They sound like Paul Bearer. My Undertaker. They're killing that. They're, oh, God. They actually sound like, um, never mind. I, I couldn't think of the word anyways. The thing I, I'm imitating. But, yeah. They, they, they sound like idiots. Uh, we need to protect the children. It's an M-rated game, moron. They used to go after GTA. Now they're afraid of GTA. They're legit afraid of GTA. Nobody in their right mind is going after GTA. They can't even touch them for loot boxes. If they want to put them in, they make more than the GDP of some freaking countries, just saying, on their shark cards and stuff. So, ain't nobody messing with GTA now. But yeah, if it was me, I wouldn't say it's my dream game because I do like gotchas, but I, I like this stuff too. I'd like to see more of a focus on this, but I do like one of the trends I've noticed is, and it's been happening for years. You see it with games like Borderlands and stuff like that. Everybody trying to get that balance of how much RPG, how much shooter, how much action or whatnot you want in. The problem becomes when they try and make it a live service game. And I think if you're going to go live service, you need to look at what the gotcha are doing. Especially stuff like Honkai Star Rail. Want to say. They, I think, have the right. Genshin's kind of, for me personal opinion has fallen off for me and it's more that I'm not really I, I don't want to say it's a gameplay it's sort of the gameplay I don't really care for the overworld exploration that much I think Genshin might have a it's it's obviously personal choice um, oh god I'm freezing to death I just realized that uh, she's gonna start pitching if I don't do anything about that okay let's go find some zombies to kill because I cannot end the episode with just me gabbing. Um, oh, and I might as well get my... Oh, I hear people. I hear you. Get my cloth fragments done. And we'll pick up a piece of cotton to get that last fragment. Might as well check these and see if I got any eggs. I do. Okay. I got an hour to find and kill people, so yay. Yeah, I was just thinking about that the other day, though. It's just where I see everything going in the future. That's the future I see. But my, I, I would make a game like that. I mean, I would, uh, I would love to see somebody like ignore the mobile market because that holds back a lot of these gotchas. I'd love to see somebody make a full-on, high-end, current. You know, I don't want to say next gen because we're in the next gen. But a full-on current-gen, high-end gotcha, and updated. You need to be like, MiHoYo's got a lot of problems, not going to give them any passes. But you need to follow, like, what they do with Honkai. You know, always giving it, keep it updated, maintain it, you know, go ham. But if you can keep that end game coming, keep up just enough free currency... To keep your people coming back, but to keep people, you know, keep that FOMO going. You know, I'm not advocating some of y'all don't like these games. I understand that. It's just a thing. But, you know, the whole reason they got in trouble with loot boxes is because of the gambling and catering to teens. You know, underage gambling. 
which is always going to be a thing, apparently. So, and I'm sure somebody somewhere pitched it. I mean, if, if nothing else, Nikkei Goddess of Victory has some, uh, I, I think is kind of cool. With, I like how it looks. I don't care what the weeb say. You're an incel, bitch. I'm, I've, I've seen more than you'll ever see. Just saying, most of the people that claim crap like that are usually the thing they... The thing they uh, the thing they're bitching about is usually what they are, because the answer is always I'm married with 15 kids or something like. Yeah, sure you are. Whatever. Keynote. Keyboard warriors are exactly I uh, called that for a reason, because that's all they are: is keyboard warriors. They'll never actually be able to back it up. I've seen most of these people. I got a lot of the ones that talk crap. You know, would I personally fight them? No, it's not in my nature. <laughs> it could be. A lot of people know that, too. And they're like, because a lot of people make that correction, uh, connection. They're like, uh, you know, in work, they'll be like, oh, JD, he's this, he's this. And then they're like, you got to remember, though, especially some of the ones that when a new hire comes on, they're like, uh, you know, oh, he's a nice guy. He's always joking around and stuff. And then they'll be talking about something and like uh, talking about whatever and somebody will bring up you know and say you know jd was in the marines right and they're like oh my god really because it you know they just don't see it and it's not in my nature to i just don't really like conflict that much which is weird i know uh <laughs> half y'all sitting there going like what do you mean you, you were a marine baby it's like yeah that don't mean nothing i don't mean i'm Redneck rampaging out here, getting ready to beef every five seconds. It just means I did what I did when I was younger. I just did uh, I did my duty? Where to say? But yeah, um, I, I I see posts and stuff. I I re literally read like web boards sometimes just to annoy myself. I don't know. I think it's cathartic. But I take it all with a train grain of salt, and then I. Uh, Obviously, let go later, tweaking in. Oh, you guys are just being dicks, huh? I got a fast mover coming up behind me. You think you're cute? Oh, you were, because homeboy moved under my feet. You little son of a bitch. Straight line. Another one coming up somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah. You guys are spawning in. I gotta... I don't still be hunted. What the hell? Now we got another... Yeah, you guys are spawning in. Okay, I... Ah! Need to get rid of you guys. Ah! Need to get rid of you guys. Okay, that's it. You had just enough to time to see if anybody brought over anything nice. Food. Nah. Nah. I don't think they really did. Alright, I do have to mosey. Hey, you can keep all this crap. Okay, I'm gonna move. Because I do need to get inside. But, yeah, it's just something I've noticed. A lot of people that talk a lot of trash probably shouldn't. Because if they ever got called out on their bullshit, they couldn't back it up. Just saying. Or they... They're literally that meme where they get hit once in the face. And you get hit, sucked in the face, and that's it. A lot of people talk like they need a good punch in the mouth. But, again, internet, yeah, uh, nominity, so, yeah. Unless we ever go full CCP or, you know, controls like that. It's always going to be in a thing. But I say, for those of you who... And I read a lot of web boards because I find them amusing. I usually, I say, follow what you like. Stick to your fan fandoms and ignore and block whatever annoys you. If, it, if you don't take it too far, ignore it. 
especially if you don't be a political crazy. Uh, I don't think there's any merit to that crap anymore. To paying attention to that crap. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I don't pay attention to that stuff at all. I pay moderate attention, you know. Obviously, I know what's going on, but for the most part, I don't pay too much attention. It doesn't matter what idiots we put in. I've said it before. Until they outlaw lobbying, it doesn't matter what we want. We're going to get what the lobbyists decide we deserve. Because that's who really runs everything, the lobbyists. You can pick whatever party you want, whoever's getting paid most wins, and we'll never know. We'll never know, because if there's one thing that'll never get declassified, it's that. But anyways, guys, on a more fun note, thank you guys for joining me and my crazy dissertations on world affairs and craziness online. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave that like. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I do upload every single day of the week. Have a great day, guys. I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.